In this session, we are discussing scope of case tools. The scope of case tools goes throughout the SDLC phases and we can verify different case tools in multiple different phases in our discussion. So at first we are going for the diagram tool. So you know that in our, in our uh, SDLC we require different diagrams at different stages. So these tools are used to represent the system components, the data and the control flow among the various software components and the system structure in a graphical form. We know that in case of DFD, we usually deal with the data flow in case of flowchart, we usually deal with the control flow and so on. So for example, flowchart maker tool for creating state of the art flowcharts. Next one we are going to discuss that is our process modeling tools. So process modeling is a method to create software process model and which is used to develop the software. And process modeling tools help the managers to choose a process model or modify it as according to the requirement. So to define a particular process as required by the managers, this process modeling tool can be used. So these are the requirements of the software product and for example, we can go for EPF composer. So EPF com composer will be a good example of process modeling tools. Next one is our project management tools. So these tools are used for project planning, cost, effort estimation, project scheduling, resource planning and budgeting will be can be done using this project management tools. So managers have to strictly comply project execution with every mentioned step in our software project management. So project management tools help in storing and sharing project information in real time throughout the organization. For example, you can go for Creative Pro Office, we can go for Track Project, we can go for Basecamp. Nowadays, in IT industries, they are using Jira as a project management tool. So there are different tools are there with the help of which this project management can easily be automated. Next one, we are having this documentation tools. So documentation in a software project starts prior to the software process and goes throughout the all phases of SDLC and after the completion of the project. So prior the software SDLC phases are initiating, we require the documentation and after the end also we require the documentation. Documentation tools generate documents for technical users and also for the end users. So technical users require this documentation tool and who are the in-house professionals and these documentations which will be used by these technical users are nothing but the system manual, the reference manual, training manual, installation manuals and etc. And the end user documentations and these documents will describe the functioning and how to of the system such as the user manual. For example, we are having this do oxygen, we are having this doctor explain, we are having this adopt robo help as the example of documentation tools which are now nowadays the software people are using. Next one we are going to discuss that is our analysis tool. This tool help to gather requirements automatically check for any inconsistency, inaccuracy in the diagrams and also the data redundancies or erroneous omissions. So for example, we are having this accept 360. So ACOMPA case complete for the requirement analysis and visible analyst for the total analysis. So these are the different analysis tools we are having. Next one, we are having this design tools. So these tools help software designer to design the block structure of the software, which may further be broken down into smaller modules using refinement technologies. And this particular tools provides detailing of each module and their respective interconnections among the modules. For example, we can go for animated software design. So using this one, we can use this design tools where this different how to break down a particular software into different smaller modules and using different refinement techniques. So this is our design tools. Next one, we are going for the configuration management tools. 
and as is an instance of software is released under one version and configuration management tools deals with the version and the revision management, the baseline configuration management, the change control management. So, all these things will be handled by this configuration management tools. So, case tools help in this by automated tracking versions management and release management. For example, you can go for Fossil, GIT and AccuRev. So, these are the different tools which we can use for this configuration management. In our separate video, we have discussed this configuration management, what is the configuration management and what are the different uh, activities that can be done in our configuration management. But here we are defining and here we are sharing the respective case tools which can be used in this particular case, in this particular phase. Next one, we are having the change control tools. So, these tools are considered as a part of the configuration management tool because you can find that here we are having this change control management. So, it is a part of the configuration management tools and they deal with the changes made to the software after its baseline is fixed and when the software is first released. Case tools automate change tracking, file management, code management and more and it also helps in enforcing change policy of the organization. So, this change control tool is very important whenever we are going for some doing some changes in the code according to the change in the environment or some users requirement. Next one we are having this programming tools. So, these tools consists of programming environments like your IDE is a short form the full form is integrated development environment, inbuilt modules library and simulation tools. So, these tools provide comprehensive aid in building software product and include features for simulation and also for testing. So, as example, we can go for C scope to search code in C and Eclipse is one of the very famous uh, this particular software programming tools. Next one, we are having this prototype prototyping tools. So, software prototype is simulated version of the intended software product where we mainly in, uh, implement the major functionalities of the software and prototype provides initial look and feel of the product and simulates few aspects of the actual product. Prototyping case tools essentially come with the graphical libraries. They can create hardware independent user interfaces and respective design. These tools help us to build rapid prototypes based on the existing information and in addition they provide simulation of the software prototype. As an example for the case tools we are having this Serena prototype composer and this mockup builder. So, these are the examples of this prototyping tools. Now, next one is our web development tools. So, these tools assist in designing web pages with all allied elements like your forms, text, script, graphic and so on. Web tools also provide live preview of what is being developed and how will it look after its completion. As example, we can have the setup tools mentioned which will be used in our web development tools. So, let us go for the quality assurance tools. So, quality assurance in a software organization is monitoring the engineering process and methods adopted to develop the software product in order to ensure conformance of quality as per the organizational standards. So, depending upon the organizational standards, this conformance towards the quality should be ensured. Quality assurance tools consists of configuration, change control tools and software testing tools and here we are having some set of examples of this quality assurance tool and JMeter is one of the very famous such quality assurance tools here. The last one is our maintenance tool. Software maintenance includes modifications in the software product after it is delivered and auto automatic login and error reporting techniques, automatic error ticket generation and root cause analysis are few case tools and which help software organization in maintenance phase of the SDLC. So, this particular 
maintenance tools will help to generate the ticket to do the root cause analysis and we are also having the uh, this particular tool also having the capability for the report generation. For example, these are the names of the some uh, tools are there for the software maintenance. So, HP quality center is one of the very famous maintenance tools. So, in this particular video, we have discussed the scope of case tools into further into more details for different aspects where which case tools can be used. We have mentioned some of the names for your better understanding. Thanks for watching this video. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.